Alright guys, what's up? Today is March 17th, 2009, and today I have Apple Update number 48 for you guys on the iPhone 3.0 software that's going to be coming uh, late this summer. That was just um, announced in Apple's little, I guess you guys can say, keynote that they just had. Alright, let's go ahead and get into the video guys. Alright guys, how are you all doing? I know I haven't talked to you guys in forever, uh, but now I'm here, I'm back with you guys for some huge, huge, huge information. Um, big thing, big thing just happened, I know I'm emphasizing a lot, but uh, this is actually really important guys, that you make sure you watch this video and tell your friends about this video, because this is definitely uh, going to be really interesting about uh, if you're an iPod Touch user or a iPhone user, whatever um, device you may have. Alright, so Apple just recently held a little, I guess you guys could say, keynote almost, um, a little address that they had in a um, in a little auditorium type of place, not that big, um, not too many people in there, but it was definitely, it was packed to have as much as, it, as, much as they could hold, um, and what they did, they, they in the beginning, they had a couple of app demos, a couple of developers like Simule went up there, uh, demoed a couple of their applications, such as you guys may know the Ocarina application. Um, the one that's like little flute. They had a lot of app demos before, which was pretty neat. Um, and then they went ahead and went straight into the iPhone 3G software. And what's it going to do? They cut straight, got straight to the point. Uh, a lot of you guys out there were saying, Apple, why are you taking so long to update the iPhone? Uh, I want this, I want that, I want copy and paste, I want, I want to send pictures to my friends, and stuff like that. Well, guys, they definitely stepped their game up. They listened. Uh, so they, they definitely stepped their game up today. Sorry. Um, so here we go. So I'm just going to go over a few of the major topics, um, well not a few, it's actually a lot, of the major topics that they added that you, that I found out that you guys will probably most be most interested in. Um, the information, by the way, guys, I'm getting is from Gizmodo.com, not from my website, Apple Updaters, because Gizmodo actually had a live blog going during this whole thing. So I want to give Gizmodo for all the credit um, that I talked to you guys about of the information. The link will be in the video description. All right going to get started. First thing I want to go ahead and cover is copy and paste for the iPhone uh, and iPod Touch. I know you guys have been dying for this. Um, it will allow you to copy, cut, and paste. Uh, all you have to do is take your iPhone or iPod Touch, double tap over the text you want, you will get a cup, cut, cut, excuse me, cut, copy, and paste little bubble uh, box that will pop up and it will ask you what you want to do. You can double tap again to paste the bubble. Um, to paste if you would like, you can go ahead and drag and select the uh, text that you would like to paste you know, and copy, go ahead and press the uh, copy button, go to where you want to paste it, go ahead and double tap again and you will be able to paste it. So very simple right there, uh, may sound a little bit complicated but it's not, it's very simple, it's a little bubble will pop up. Also if you guys are interested in any pictures, definitely link the video description and Gizmodo has so many pictures from this, so definitely go check that out. Um, this copy paste will work with a lot of applications. Uh, you can use it with mail, notes, and even will work with some uh, with with online. So maybe you're on a web page, you want to copy and paste something that you found interesting into your notes or in an email. You go ahead and do that. So that's awesome. Uh, you can also copy and paste photos if you want. This was a cool little thing that they threw in there. Uh, you can also do uh, multiple photos if you want. Uh, very simply. All right. Also, another thing that they added. Um, there's this new, uh, kind of, I guess you guys could say, uh, what do I want to say, um, this, this is a new feature that they added called Spotlight. What Spotlight allows you to do is it allows you, there's, if you scroll all the way over on your iPhone homepage, uh, there'll be a little search, a little magnifying glass. What you can do is you can flick to the left of your homepage and it will give you a list or a spotlight of all the applications that you have on your device. Uh, which is really actually really neat. It can it'll tell you about all your applications throughout everything. Um, I also believe it tells you the developer of it, so that's pretty neat right there. So you don't really have to worry about scrolling down the page to try and find your application. You can just swipe over it, scroll up the list, and find it. So that's really neat right there. Uh, you can also search now in um, in your mail application, uh, calendar, and your iPod. Um, iPod, you guys are hearing that from my iPod Touch users. You're like obviously I have an iPod. Uh, but in the iPhone, the music and videos are combined in an app called iPod. 
So for you iPod Touch users out there and owners, uh, you, when you go into your music, you can search. You can search for artists, you can search for songs, you can search for an album. So that's pretty neat right there. You can also search in your mail or search email or keywords that you want to look up and also in calendar for different events. Something else that you guys have really been looking forward to and something I would love to have if I had an iPhone 3G. 3G tethering. What that allows you to do is that say you're in your car, you're going on a big family trip and obviously you have your laptop with you and you don't have internet. What do you? What can you do? You're bored, you're stuck there with the games you have on your computer or Microsoft Word? Yay? No. Um, what that now allows you to do is you can take your iPhone 3G's connection and kind of fuse it almost with your laptop and then that will allow you to get pretty much 3G anywhere you want for your laptop computer uh, whether it be a uh, PC like I'm running right now or maybe you have a MacBook so that is really cool right there definitely a good thing also landscape keyboarding which obviously is when you turn your keyboard sideways you have a full landscape keyboard that will allow you to type out uh, in mail and um, on searching for stuff and applications and everything like that so that's really neat uh, you can also use that in notes so really cool right there definitely wanted the landscape keyboarding. Another big, big, big thing that you guys wanted, MMS, Multimedia Messaging. Um, what that allows you to do is that allows you to send pictures, guys, pictures and images. Um, also, with a new, another different feature that they added, uh, voice recordings that you could send uh, in a text, which is awesome. Um, Alright, see what else, we can go ahead and skip on that topic. Not that interesting. Uh, a little update they added to the Stocks application. I know, your guys' favorite application, Stocks. Um, I'm just playing with you guys, but they did add a cool little update. Um, they now allow you to, you can read about the latest stock market update scandals, uh, maybe different crashes or anything like that, and a uh, bunch of just cool little updates and information. Um, on the little bottom, on the bottom they have different little tabs and outs you can choose from, you can go through that. And it also has where you can turn it into landscape and do your charts in landscape. Pretty neat. Uh, another cool thing that you guys have been dying for is stereo Bluetooth audio. You guys know that you can already use a Bluetooth with a iPhone 3G. Um, so what this allows you to do is it allows you to be able to pair your iPhone 3G with a stereo Bluetooth device such as um, like wireless headphones or speakers. Pretty neat. You can also sync your notes application. Any notes you have there, any inf important information, you can also sync that with iTunes. Um, Safari will now uh, remember your login credentials, so say you're on a website, and every time you open and close Safari, you have to re-enter your password to get there, it will now save it if you would like. Cool little thing they also added, if you guys own a uh, Nano 4G, the new Nanos from Apple, uh, you know you can shake the, shake the iPod to change the next song or shuffle the playlist or something like that, they've now added that as well, so you can now shake, just shake your uh, iPhone or iPod Touch to change the song or shuffle. Um, couple new applications that they added uh, voice memo application which allows you to obviously record voice um, like I said before you can also send it if you'd like uh, also you can send and receive files such as uh, maybe a document you have saved on there or something like that like notes or anything like that so it's pretty neat um, some other different things there's this new thing called peer-to-peer Wi-Fi connectivity which will allow two iPhones to connect directly peer-to-peer -peer, uh, via Wi-Fi connection um, so, that is awesome. So you can be just right there. They can be, let me go ahead and grab my iPod. So you have, you, maybe you and your friend are right here. You want to, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. They, did, they didn't really say a lot about what you'd be able to do with it. But maybe you'll be able to send important notes. Uh, or maybe you can invite your friend to come play a game on there or something like that. Right when you're next to each other. So that's really cool right there. I'm going to place these two right back up here. Alright. So that is a awesome feature that they went ahead and added. They also added a couple of different um, another features that will allow you to, uh, for an example, Gizmodo took a picture and example, an iPhone equaling out a speaker's audio, uh, the iPhone functioning as the equalizer. So that's pretty cool right there. Alright. Uh, also, a little feature that they say here is that you can now uh, use maps inside other applications. Uh, new applications will be able to use maps directly, uh, which is pretty neat right there. That will be added um, within other applications, excuse me, as developers develop them. 
Also, developers will now be able to create turn-by-turn -turn directions using GPS information from the iPhone uh, and combining it with different maps that they may already own. Uh, also, it will uh, depend really on their, your connection whether you will be able to with the 3G or not. So that's pretty cool uh, that a lot of people have been waiting for turn-by-turn -turn directions. That would be really cool to have that so it's like a mini GPS right in your pocket. Another big thing, push notification. What that push notification is going to allow you to do is that's going to be uh, means that applications, this is a quote from Gizmodo, applications will finally be able to receive messages from the interwebs automatically. So you can have an instant message application and have your iPhone vibrate or make such a sound when a new message comes in, even if the application is not running, unquote, Gizmodo. So that is really, really cool right there. You guys have been dying for that. You have to go in and out of AIM every time you want to receive a message or see if somebody sent you a message you no longer have to deal with the push notification um, that will also work for other applications as well so you don't have to worry about that uh, also rumbling developers will be able to add rumbling to their applications you know maybe you have an xbox or a playstation controller that when you go over bump something in the game the controller will rumble the iphone will rumble as well obviously um, pretty much just an overrated vibrate uh, where am i at right here ten minutes alright it's not too bad uh, let's see what else we got here uh, another little small one is that you can, uh, uh, will in future, sorry, in future applications you'll be able to access to uh, the iPhone's music library in uh, different applications while they're still running, so which is pretty neat. Um, a couple other minor updates here. Uh, nothing really else, just some more enhancements to the App Store, which basically means more uh, things that developers can add to their applications and different things that they can go ahead and add, like subscriptions to their apps and everything like that. Pretty cool. The price of this update, this very uh, intriguing, very interesting, very helpful update, is going to be free for iPhone and iPhone 3G users. But guys, for you, for me, iPod Touch users out there, it's going to cost $9.95, so about $10 for the update. Not too bad. Obviously, I'm going to do it definitely so I can like review it, check it out, look at all the new stuff that's available for the iPod Touch. Um, that is going to be really neat right there little downer for you non-iPhone 3G users that may you might have a different iPhone the uh, when you do get the update two things that you may be able to not do is uh, I believe the uh, what was it you won't you won't have the stereo Bluetooth support uh, and a few other things I'm not quite sure but nothing major I mean it's not too bad you still get this awesome awesome update so definitely guys thank you for watching this video Apple has definitely set their game up with this uh, all these updates, guys, information, link in the video description. Definitely go check out Gizmodo. Uh, awesome information. I want to just want to thank them for covering this event live with their blog. Really, really awesome. The iPhone 3G is now in a whole new level of, of cell phones. The iPod Touches are really going to be awesome now. Um, Apple, definitely great job with this update. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Here we come. Rate, subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. Peace. I did that backwards. One more quick thing, guys. The uh, 3.0 update will not is not available right now. It will be available, like I said in the beginning of the video, in late this coming summer. Um, well, this coming summer, which is this coming summer, which is pretty late. Not too bad. I can wait. That round. Uh, right now, developers have it in their hands. It's available for them today for developers, but not for the public. Uh, so late summer, guys. Definitely expect to go ahead and download this.